We are about to lose signal through the tracking data relay satellite system, so we'll be losing these downlink television pictures. This is Mission Control Houston. This television coming from the Space Hab double module in Atlantis's cargo bay. Comments on uh, that change we just read up. Um, the, pict the pictorial uh, later on in the uh, deorbit prep uh, on page B3-24 uh, already correctly shows uh, the power system switches off. And uh, also, uh, Inco says uh, that he he does not think you'll actually get the uh, Spec 62 message. So uh, uh, if you don't get it, don't worry about it. Affirmative. Space at Pocket Lannis for RRMD. Go ahead. Yeah, Clay, uh, sample repair and it is complete at uh, 8 days, 21 hours, and 36 minutes. We copy. Floating into the field of view now in this uh, live television picture from the Space Hab double module in the cargo bay of Atlantis to join Apton Walls is mission specialist Shannon Lucid on the eve of her return to Earth after six months in orbit aboard the Mir space station. Again, her colleague John Blaha, veteran U.S. astronaut, is aboard the Mir at this hour with uh, Mir 22 Commander Valeri Korzun and flight engineer Alexander Kaleri beginning his scientific research over the course of the next four months. Laha will be returned to Earth in January aboard Atlantis on the STS-81 mission, which will carry astronaut Jerry Leninger to the Mir as the fourth U.S. astronaut to conduct research on the Russian space station. Good morning. Uh, Shannon, I, I, I want to talk to you first, if, if everybody doesn't mind. First of all, you guys are we're mid-deck now, right? So you're, you're pretty much cramped in. We're all kind of wedged into uh, the aft portion of the flight deck where we flew the rendezvous from. Shannon, uh, let's talk about uh, your, your time aboard Mir. Uh, I, I know it's difficult to prepare for, for six months in space, but it, was it what you expected from your training before you went up? Uh, yes, I think everything uh, was pretty much as I expected, uh, except I think I had a better time than I really, I mean, I expected to have a good time, but I think it was even better than I expected. Well, um, right now I'm just pretty happy. Tomorrow we're coming home, and um, I expect life to go on just like it always always has. And uh, I don't know. I'm just pretty happy right now. Now, how sad are you about leaving space? I, I mean, obviously the anticipation must be great before you go. I, is it time now? Are you ready? You know, I really do feel just a little bit sad uh, because I've had a great time. I've had great friends, uh, you know, two different crews when I was on Mir, and everything just worked out just really well. And, yeah, I feel a little sad, but uh, all adventures have to come, you know, to an end, and you have to go home sometime, and I'm ready to go home. He says compatibility and good humor are two of the characteristics which come through in all of your interviews, Shannon, especially over the last six months. So for long-duration missions and eventually flights to Mars, how important will it be to assure good compatibility among all the members of the crew? Well, I think the thing that made uh, my flight such a great flight was the fact that uh, all the crew members got along real well. I could not have asked for a more compatible group of people to work with, and um, I think that is of the very primary importance. I mean, that is the uh, prime, the most important thing. Everything else comes, uh, falls underneath that. But uh, if you have people that are that you can work with, that you get along with together, and that you laugh a lot with together, um, things just tend to work out pretty well. Shannon, is there anything uh, about women that may make them psychologically or physiologically more adept at being astronauts, especially over long periods of time? Um, I don't think so. I think it just depends on the individual. I don't think it has anything to do with whether you're male or female. Uh, it's just some individuals would enjoy the experience and some individuals enjoy other things. I mean, that's what makes, 
thank you with being so wonderful is that uh, we all like different things. Can I ask about, uh, about our partners in space and, and the International Space Station, the Russians? There seems to have been a real problem and, and a continuing problem with them, not so much uh, as far as their technology is concerned, but, but certainly as far as cash flow is concerned for them. Are they going to be an okay partner for us to be able to, to go forward with, or, or is, this going to, is this going to present a problem for us? Well, I'll start with what you said first. Uh, I, I think they build marvelous hardware, and, and most of what we saw over aboard uh, the Mir station is just elegantly simple and robust. And if you think about the fact that their station's been uh, in orbit now for uh, over 10 years, it, it's really remarkable. And, and I think we were all impressed with the, the volume that you have uh, available to do work over there and just, just uh, how magnificent a facility it is. And we're going to move off uh, using the mirror as kind of our prototype space station, sharing it with the Russians and using our shuttles to go back and forth. And then we're going to build the International Space Station, and the Russians are contributing launches and they're contributing modules. And, uh, you know, I think their finances are their business, uh, but I think, you know, when, uh, when it comes time to produce, that they'll produce, and they'll produce quality hardware. Shannon, for you. Being up that much longer, uh, has it made a really large change in you? Well, as far as I can tell, I'm, I haven't changed. I'm the same person I've always been. I guess you could ask these guys because they thought uh, I was changed, I was different. Uh, I think I'm the same person, but a lot of times a uh, person's not the best judge of themselves. But, uh, no, I don't think I've changed any. All right, we're really quickly running out of time. Before we go... Shannon, wh tell me what you expect physically as you come back, uh, come back to Earth and gravity, because I know you've flown a, a number of times before, but, but there, is, there is a distinct difference in this flight, and we have very little time. Well, I think it'll just take, I've, there's a lot of muscles I haven't used for six months, and so it's just going to take a little time to get uh, back, you know, used to using them, and I just think I'll be tired for a little bit, but I'll rapidly be my normal self. Okay, we copy uh, page uh, 1-45, step 45, report condition of isolation plate to MCC. That's firm.
signals look good. Roger. Good config, minute to the ZOE. We'll pick you up at uh, one minute after uh, the hour. 